everyone, welcome back to We Talk Cricket. It's Sam again with you. Thank you for joining me today on this episode where we are going to discuss the upcoming squads for the test series between the West Indies and Zimbabwe. Now I know you're excited just like I am. So, hey, before we jump into discussing squad selection, let's talk a little bit about history between these two teams. So far, they've played six test series against each other, okay? West Indies have come out on top pretty much in all of them. Yeah, Wendy's. So this test series is going to be more of like a redemption for the West Indies and an opportunity to showcase possible strong footing for Zimbabwe. Both of these teams are looking to put a statement on this test series. So we're going to expect, we should expect a lot of excitement, okay? Just telling you straight up. Now, squad wise, hmm, interesting. So let's jump into it. We're going to start with West Indies. I'm going to read this off my phone. I ain't Superman, okay? So let's start with the West Indies squad so far. Captain, we have Craig Brathwit, Jermaine Blackwood, Vice Captain, Nakuma Bonner, Tayshia Ryan Chanapal, Ross and Chase, Joshua Silva, Shannon Gabriel, Jason Holder, Alzari Joseph, Kyle Mayers, Gukadish Moti, Raymond Reefer, Kimar Roach, Devon Thomas, and Jamel Warakin. Now, the two freshest faces, I think, in the West Indies squad will be Gukadish Moti and Tayshia Ryan Chanapal, who are both from Guyana. Um, so basically, I think. The Wesleys are looking to build around the youths right now. Like, it's like it's like a balanced squad, if anything. Like they have a balanced set of bowlers and a balanced set of bats. But like, top order wise, bringing back Tayshia Ryan is a really good idea. He performed well in Australia. He's a very hard batsman to get out. Very hard, trust me. I played against him on the club level. He's very hard to get out. Um, so seeing them bring back like Tayshia Ryan and Gukic is good. Okay, now. Shannon Gabriel is also coming back into the squad after a year absence from playing for the West Indies. So it's good to see him as well. Him teaming up with Alzari and Kimar is going to be really good to see again. I feel like they all, those three always have a balance between them that, you know, so it's something only fast bowlers can understand. Now, surprised to see Kyle Mayers and Josh the Silver in there since recently. They have not had good performances. I'm sorry, but they haven't. Okay? It, Below par, you're in a national, you're in an international squad playing and representing your nation. You gotta perform, okay? Now, Devon Thomas and Jamel Walker coming back in there. I can see why like, Thomas is the possible replacement for the Silva if he doesn't perform, and Jamel's gonna add some extra spin attack along with Chase and Moti on the Zimbabwean wicket just in case you know it, they're wicket side like the Caribbean, so you never know what you're gonna get pace or spin. So, I think it's a good balance of batters and bowlers all around, okay? Except for you know, the few odds and ends as we discussed. Now, let's talk about Zimbabwe's team. Um, get this, Zimbabwe could possibly field seven debutants during this series. Seven, okay? Now, now you're like, hey, same, that ain't nothing compared to when, you know, all those players went on strike back in the day when West, when the West Indies, you know, like, ooh, and the players wanted more money. Yeah, I get it, okay? We probably had like eight or nine. I think that's when Roach actually made this debut along with like Tino Best and a few others. So, I get it, but seven is still a big number. Seven possible debutants. And then on the top of it, like they're gonna be missing Sean Williams, they're gonna be missing Chitara, they're gonna be missing Blessing. Chitara and Blessing are two of their premier bowlers. So they're gonna miss some good experience. They're also gonna be missing Sakanda Raza and Rand Burl, who are away on contract commitments. Again. So I'm <laughs> just look Sakana, come on man. But like I would have expected them to be there for the series, but you know, you can't you can't do much. Cricket still gotta be played, okay? So let's jump into this squad. And if I mess up on some of the names, forgive me, okay? Some of the names are really difficult to pronounce. But we'll start off with Craig Irvine, who's been named captain in for this series. Then we have Tanaka Chivanga, we have Gary Balance, we have Chamu Chihab. Chihab, huh? yeah. Brad Evans, Joel and Gumby, Innocent Kea. We have Tenorwa Makoni, we have Wellington Mazakatsa, we have Kudzai Manuz, Brandon Movuta, Richard Nagarva, Victor Nayuchi, Milton Shumba, Donald Turipano, and Tafadzwa Saiga. So, honestly, I can see like they're, they're bringing in a lot of fresh faces around experienced players, which is good. They're doing exactly the same the West Indies are and given these young players the chance. Like I've looked up some local scores and cricket history so far in Zimbabwe and these 
young players have really been performing. So they're the future of Zimbabwe and cricket. So I think Craig has got a good side with him. He's just he's gonna have to learn and know how to balance them right, use them correctly, and it's gonna be a learning experience for him. He's gonna be basically spirit line in the batting along with Gary Balance. And you're thinking, I've heard that name before. You have. Gary Balance used to play for England. His parents migrated to England, but he's Zimbabwe by birth. And he played for England for a while. Didn't meet performance standards, obviously. So now he's playing for Zimbabwe. He played in the ODI series recently. So it's good. It's gonna be interesting to see what he can do at the top of the order to help Craig as well. So I definitely think Zimbabwe also has a very, very strong team. Like these two squads are really balanced, minus the surprises, obviously. So I want you to I want you to tell me because you know like this is this is a two-way street. You and me, we gotta talk about it. Let me know what what surprises you saw as I announced the squads, what you expected or didn't expect, and also who you think is gonna win this series. Because obviously I'm gonna back the West Indies to win this series. We've, we've got the history, we've got the record of winning, but you know, cricket is an unpredictable game. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, it can happen. It can happen, okay? But I'm gonna put my faith in Wendy's because you know. Windies to the bone, man. Blood, flesh, all the way! Okay? Now, I do look forward to bringing more coverage on this. We're probably going to do an ODI, not ODI, sorry, a test review after the first test and then and after the second test. And we're going to talk about it more. So bring your questions, get ready. Let's talk some more because that's what we do on this channel. We talk cricket. I'll see you later.